As a huge fan of games like Danganronpa and Ace Attorney, I'm always on the lookout for games that would scratch that particular itch once again. If you are unfamiliar with those titles, the type of game I'm looking for is a mystery visual novel with lots of twists and turns. And while so many games managed to disappoint in the quality of the story, I'm so happy to report that Paranormal Sight The Seven Mysteries of Honjo manages to scratch that itch very well. It's best to go into it knowing as little as possible, so in this review I'll try to only talk about things that happened very early in the game to try to sell you on the concept and the story. You start playing as one of the four playable protagonists in the story, Shogo Okie. He meets this girl that he's into in a park at night. The reason being that she's into the occult and is trying to look into the so-called Seven Mysteries of Honjo that date back to the Edo era of Japan, one of which points to the very park they're standing in. But during their peaceful investigation, something goes awry and she falls dead on the floor in a very strange occurrence that seems to be an effect of a curse. Soon we learn that each of the mysteries is tied to a curse, and these curses were summoned to the world once again to activate the Rite of Resurrection which gives an individual with enough souls the power to resurrect someone. These curses are now scattered around the Honjo area, given to individuals that were active this late in the night with a strong wish to wield this power. Each curse is filled with strong emotions of the individual that was hurt by the events of the Seven Mysteries. These curses influence the minds of its wielders with a strong urge to kill, and killing is necessary for gathering souls for the right. You will influence the choices of the four protagonists, each of which is wielding a different curse, with a different condition that needs to be triggered to kill a person. Each choice you make will lead you to a different path and you're encouraged to explore all of the possible decisions that lead you to different routes, endings or even deaths. It is very easy to replay everything, as the story is split into small chunks that are easy to navigate and replay to get to the different outcome. Some outcomes are required to progress the stories of other characters, since some events in their stories are directly influenced by the story you are currently playing. Each character you meet has a significant role to play, and every minor event is connected somehow. It is up to you to learn and figure out how it all connects. Sometimes the solution to some of the questions can be very unconventional, as you have to do something in the game options to progress the story. It's not a new concept, but it's done very cleverly. The situations and stories that the four protagonists find themselves in are all very unique. Tetsuo Tsutsumi is a chief inspector investigating the death of a police officer with his partner. Haure Shigima is a rich housewife in the middle of investigating the death of her son with a private investigator. Yako Sakazaki is a high school student trying to contact her deceased friend with a spirit board ritual. And last but not least, Shogo, who I've already mentioned, is just an office worker looking to conquer the heart of the occult girl. I won't go any further into their stories or motives, but you might guess some of them from this brief description. The game is around 10 hours long and it's been a real blast to play. Even though the game fits in the horror genre, it's by no means scary and it's more of a mystery thriller apart from a few jump scares that get the atmosphere flowing. The soundtrack is also incredible and adds a lot to the atmosphere. I've recorded some tracks that you can hear in the background of this video. I truly have no complaints about the game. Its line doesn't outstay its welcome, the story is tense and interesting at all times, and the characters are very well written and designed. I hope Square markets this game a bit more, because it deserves to be played by a large audience. For the price of only 16 euros on Steam at the moment, this is a must buy. And as the developers say in their thank you letter, I also look forward to the day that they can present us with another paranormal site.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this game, please spread the word around about just how good it is. Until next time.